Hi, Dr. Ranj here, talking about anxiety and sleep. So let's take a step back, because what I see is the big topic insomnia. And not acute insomnia, we've all had acute insomnia, but once that stress goes away, in theory the insomnia goes away. But I'm really talking about chronic insomnia. So how do we define that? Having difficulty initiating sleep, maintaining sleep for at least three times a week for three months. That's quite a long time. So why am I talking about chronic insomnia? Because what's highly associated with that? You know, depression anxiety, and those two can be almost mimicked together. Because when we talk about getting good sleep, you want to transition into sleep. You want to relax the mind and relax the body easier said than done. Because who doesn't have anxiety? Whether it's gonna be work, whether it's gonna be finances, whether it's gonna be family, it just seems to add on. And when we talk about depression and anxiety, I mean, it's chicken, and the egg? Am um, I having insomnia because of the depression and anxiety? Or is it vice versa? And let me throw a curveball in there. Next thing you know, you start treating that depression, you start treating that anxiety, and that ruins your sleep because of the medications that are gonna be involved. So I feel it's such an important topic because if you ask me what is one of the most important pillars of health, it's happiness, it's not being lonely, it's not being depressed. So I think anything you could do to address anxiety, whether it's gonna be those nice deep breaths at night, take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth slowly, whether it's your favorite yoga, your favorite meditation, whether it's walking the dog, do what works for you. And of course, if that doesn't work, always talk to your healthcare provider.